Hey everybody, welcome back. Hopefully it doesn't get too windy and stormy on us today. There is definitely a thunderstorm rolling in, but I'm excited to share this with you guys because as some of you may know, we were in the process of moving and I'm finally able to show you the new place a little bit. And I wanna just show you guys around a little bit and maybe get some input from you guys. So let's go this way. And there's not a lot here yet because we just moved in but I'm excited to get a few things in. We don't have any fencing, so everything that I have out has to be pretty deer tolerant, but I do have some Egyptian walking onions. I've transplanted my um, calendula, astragalus, echinacea, motherwort, wild and Greek oregano. Um, there's some poppy seeds and bee balm and things that I'm hoping we'll do okay even with the deer pressure. So this is kind of the temporary medicinal garden. There's this really beautiful already established lilac that I love and it is just coming into bloom. It smells absolutely amazing. And then over here, eventually I'm planning to do some more elderberries over here and have a little bit more privacy from neighbors. But for now, we've got two elderberry seedlings right here. There's a little bit of a lilac here that is trying to grow, and I may replace that with another elderberry someday. We'll see. Um, but we got two elderberry seedlings put in right here. And I got those from Fedco Trees this year, and I was really impressed with my Fedco Tree order. They had really good prices and I think just really, really nice bare root products. So I'll link Fedco Trees in the description. I would highly recommend them, not affiliated at all, but I was really pleased with my order from them this year. We've got about two and a half acres to work with. About an acre and a half of that is just totally blank slate. And so I'm excited to show you guys some of my theoretical ideas and plans and get some feedback from you. Maybe you have some brilliant ideas. I'm excited to try to utilize it to the best of its abilities. This is the south side of the home. And so we were kind of thinking about putting a greenhouse back here eventually. There is quite a bit of room. We could put a large greenhouse and some garden space here. Um, ultimately, we're thinking chickens and sheep integrated into the system. Chickens 100%, sheep hopefully. And then down this ledge, we've got quite a bit of flat space. We've got five fruit trees planted so far and we hope to continue the little mini orchard food forest idea down the line a little bit. But it's pretty open, it's pretty blank we can do a lot design wise so we are on quite a bit of a slope here and we've been contemplating doing some dirt work to really make this more distinct terraces wondering if that would be a more useful way to utilize the space and then um, down here i'm hoping to be able to have a lot of room for my staple crops um, I really love to grow my corn and I've been selectively seed saving from the Painted Mountain variety. So a large patch for the corn, potatoes, squash. I'm definitely seeing like staple crops down here. But then there's a little bit more space up around the back. And I love the idea of doing kind of a rotational system with chickens and sheep. So trying to figure out how that would work. I'm really trying to kind of wrap my brain around the best way to utilize this flow. So we are thinking about keeping like a little bit of a roadway here just for easy access, maybe a small hay shed, loafing barn, um, something for animal shelter and feed storage down here that we could back a truck up to. And then the rest of it would be usable. We've got lots of pears in this year. We got four pears and one apple in this year. Um, and then next year, hopefully we will add some peaches, some plums, maybe an apricot. Um, but yeah, we got a few trees in this year and then they're in a little bit late because we got some unexpectedly warm weather pretty early in the year. So 
We've been keeping an eye on them and watering them good. Hopefully they transplant successfully. So the plan is to fence the entire perimeter to keep the deer and any predators out. And the fence will come right along here about eight feet behind where we have the trees planted down around and wrap up this way up this hill is our property line. So then we have this hillside and I'm not really sure how the best way to utilize it is. There's some little pine trees on it. It is fairly rocky. There's not as good a soil as there is down in this flat part. So I'm not sure if the best thing to do would be to try to level it, to do dirt work, or if there's a really good way to work with the terrain the way it is with some sort of sheep, chicken, gardening system combo. Let me know if you have any brilliant suggestions there. I'm open to ideas. We are going to try to start on perimeter fencing as soon as we can, but that'll be a bit of a project. And I am definitely thinking like the Premier One mobile net fencing, just in the meantime, until we get the perimeter fenced, but also just for the interior fencing solution, that gives me a lot of flexibility to move things around and not be committed to permanent fencing until I really figure out a system I like. We've come full circle all the way down and around back up the hill. And this is again, where we're thinking about maybe doing some kind of greenhouse situation in the future. We've got a nice established front yard, a little play area for the kiddos, cute little pond. Maybe I need ducks. <laughs> Another great thing we really love. My husband has a shop for the first time ever in his adult life. He has somewhere to have all his tools and do his work, which is extremely exciting. And somewhere back in here along this hillside, we are kind of penciling in for my root cellar. I've always wanted a root cellar. And so we're thinking somewhere in this hillside where it's nice and shady would be a great spot to put one. It's a little far from the house, but it's not terribly far from the house. So this little area is kind of right off the front yard, really close to the main house. And I am thinking maybe some kind of permanent chicken coop here for the winter time, especially, but I've really been considering the mobile chicken coop options, something like the Justin Rhodes Chickshaw type mobile eggmobile thing. I am thinking about that. There's not a lot of great forage on this hill, which I know can be amended. I know that um, there are things that can be done to turn it into a more abundant landscape, but I just am not really positive the best way to go about it. And there's a little bit of native grasses, some native wildflowers and weeds, but a lot of wild lettuce. <laughs> Not a lot of high nutrition forage if I were to get some sheep out here, but I think chickens would pick it over really well. It's a beautiful view up here. I grew up very remote and never really envisioned having neighbors. And we are still living rurally. We're still in our same small town. We're living very rurally. This was not on my radar, but it has really grown on me. I think there is enough space here to really do everything that I want to. And it's a fun challenge to really maximize the space and make it as self-sustaining as possible. I think that's going to be a really fun project and and just see how much we can really do with a more manageable amount of space. So we are looking forward to this new season. We have amazing sunshine here. So yeah, we're just really excited. So that was just a little quick tour of the place, a little glimpse at the property. I hope you guys enjoyed and I do look forward to any comments you guys have any ideas. We are really excited to start designing and settling into our new home here. I hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you next week.